Hi Pilots and Co-Pilots, Brian here with the next in my Explain 10 Utilities, Plugins and Add-ons video. Today I want to talk about uh, X Camera, which was the uh, first, well second, plugin that uh, I discovered for Xplane after reading a few great articles where people said it was an indispensable plugin. But if you don't have it, I just want you to talk you through some of the basics and uh, explain why you probably do want it and also how to configure it. So if like me, when you first got Xplane, you loaded it up and you loaded some different aircraft and you're trying to figure out it looked cool. So you hold the right mouse button down and yes, I can, I can look around. I can, I can see what I'm doing. All that. That's an interesting switch panel. I can kind of yeah, zoom in on it. I wish I could read that a bit better. And then you're flying along and then you look around there and you know, you're trying to look at your panel and there's probably some switches down there. So then you start to move your display around a bit and you, you zoom in and meanwhile you find that you're actually heading towards the ground or you're completely off level or then you're down and oh, do I want to know I want to zoom out and before long you end up all over the place um it's not a very quick and easy and smooth way to fly to be able to to check your different instruments to check your switches to check your radios etc so I found X camera completely changed that experience to this experience and here's our after view looks pretty much the same however when you're flying along in rough weather and you want to check your dials you just do this do this over to your GPS up to your switches down to your main dials and then back again quick as that much much simpler than having to manually zoom around and zoom in zoom out press this button and then try and go back to your pilot view so let's go and see how we do that okay so now you've seen the before and after and why it's invaluable let's just have a little look at uh, how we get to x camera up and running so first of all go and download it from stick and rudder studios i've got their link in the video um you to get the full full version you have to register with them the price is as little as zero dollars or as much as you want i actually did pay them for this because um, i played around with it unregistered for the first few days to try it out but you know what it made the difference between me thoroughly enjoying x plane and me not using x plane at all so it was worth a few dollars to them also check out their video their training videos i've linked them they really do go through every single piece of um, the functionality of their plugin. This today's for me is just like I hope I get you interested in using it in X-Plane. So up here I'm going to go up and look it just came up there. X, -ca it, X camera has created a new camera file for this plane. I haven't been in this plane before I haven't used X camera before but the moment you turn it on it has now created the camera setup for this plane. So let's go back I've clicked on X camera now click on control panel and this is the first view we've got so here this is the panel lots of options looks a bit scary but don't worry about it a lot of the stuff again with some of these things whoa hey anybody else hear that thunder ah. um a bit stormy where I'm filming this uh You've got lots and lots of options looks very confusing but don't worry about it there's not a huge amount to it to start with so here we have the two eye sections here i'm circling my mouse around it says category and camera now categories you can think of as grouping together things so cockpit is one they've got predefined that's a great one to start with this will be your view out as a pilot maybe your various instrument clusters your switches your radios other things maybe you'd have a second category called external view where you could set up a series of different camera views of the outside of your aircraft uh, a third one could be uh, well I don't know some some fancy looking views that you wouldn't necessarily need but you know under the wheel well looking down lots of different views uh, you also have the ability to create orbits and flybys uh, go and check out some of my other videos I've done flying across uh, Arizona and Nevada and uh, sunset going into uh, San Francisco to demonstrate the ability to, to do those flybys. So if you've ever wondered how those other people are making those really cool X-Plane videos where it's sweeping past 
that's how they're doing it is with this um, so here it's by default created the cockpit and the pilot view now you can use the um, options over here on the left for movement uh, to move your camera around you can you can do all that or you can use the uh, keys on the keyboard that are mapped uh, to the standard x-plane keys so your cursor keys can move you left right up down um, comma and dot on my keyboard move me in and out um, and then you've got R and F to swing up and down and Q and E to rotate left and right so I'm just going to try and get a default pilot view I think that will do just for now it's not brilliant I'll probably adjust it but I'm going to save all that's now saved into X camera if you don't hit save all your set the settings won't be saved you always have to hit save all so we've got our first camera um, now I'm going to click up here where it says add I'm going to add another camera and I'm going to call this six pack well, I'm just going to call it that because I'm going to focus it on the main instrument pack down here okay so now what I'm going to do is I want to get the camera into a position so I just need to click off of that if I zoom down I'm gonna zoom in I think that's gonna what have I got down there altitude that's a really good one for my instrument so yeah I think that covers most of the instruments I'm going to be mainly interested in for this view. I'm going to do save all. I'm now going to add a third one. Should I call this GPS? So this is just an example. I'm not going to go through and kit out the whole plane with camera views. You can do that. One thing to be careful of is if you're in a category, if you have like all eight cameras and you've set up a button just to step through them, it can take you a while to step through the views. Pick your views. To, to those I think you really need. So now we're going to do that. So I'm going to, I'm going to, again, click off of text field. And I'm going to, there we go, zoom into that. That looks good. Okay, save all. I'm going to add another. And I've got more dials. I'm going to go over here. More dials. Okay. Again, click off of there. I'm going to... There's a lot of dials, isn't there? I think I need to, to zoom out a bit on that. I think that allows me to read pretty much every dial there. Save all and there are some other bits over here i could do but again this is just an example for you okay let's tilt up some switches up here okay and now i've got to try and get into a good position for this this is where i used to have trouble you see when you're flying and you're trying to find all these how do you do this without crashing your aircraft or having to pause the game every time and it, that totally ruins the experience so I'm just moving around using there we go I'm using the dot and the comma there Q and E to try and get my rotation my cursor keys maybe go forwards a little bit okay I'm happy with that save all now you see we have camera four for we have four cameras in one category now i already have a button set up to jump between those um but let me show you how you would do that so if you got to there and uh joystick and equipment buttons buttons advanced no Oh yeah, X camera is selected there. There's a save all cameras button, but I've also, there's one here for, um, 
Well, there's loads of buttons you can set up. I can't remember which one I've got set up now. To step between next camera. There you go. You set that one up to a button on your joystick or a button on your keyboard somewhere. You can jump through the cameras in your current category. You can also set up a button to switch through the categories. The other way you can do that, and I'll show you in a minute, is by moving your mouse down the button. So we've got that saved. Now if I click my button, so there you go, I've got my pilot view, my dial view, my GPS view, um, my switches. So two, three, four. Oh, haha. <laughs> See, there's an example of me messing up. So there's my these are actually my switches I didn't save all so it lost the settings for that one so save all so I'm gonna add one more we're going to go back down and zoom in on those dials remember I this what we're going to call it more dials more dials save all now we have the morning so now pilot view six pack gps which is more dials pretty jumpy though so they have this awesome thing here called smooth transition if i now go through smooth transition Smooth transition. Trust me, this is worth it. There we go. Back to there. So now, look. Zoom, zoom. Doesn't that look cool? Anyway, so you get the idea. So now save all. I can close this down. There we go. Awesome. We now have the ability to switch around. You could have added some that do an outside view. One thing to note here, if you have previously got used to looking around with your right mouse button, what you'll do here is you'll hold your right mouse button down and it'll, it'll do this. Uh, it doesn't work. So, because it conflicts with the built-in camera system. So what they've programmed is the scroll wheel button on the middle of your mouse for PC owners. Press that in. That's your mouse look button now. Not the right mouse button, but the mouse wheel in the middle. Mac owners, because I don't think you have a scroll wheel in the same way, I think you probably have to push both mouse buttons down to replicate having a scroll wheel button push. So there you go, you use your, and of course you've got snap as well, so wherever you end up, you can look at stuff, and then, boom, goes back. I can still zoom in and out, so I can still zoom in and out where I can adjust my view uh, then I can easily step between them with the button that I've set up so for today that's your simple how to use X camera I think you'll uh, agree that it's a very very uh, beneficial tool to be able to fly quickly and safely in X plane so I hope you have a great day and I hope this tutorial was useful to you. If it was, don't forget to subscribe or like or just leave a comment. Let me know what you think about this. So, safe flying.